Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're going to be going over some of your comments that you've posted on YouTube. You can do that by going to the community tab and posting any topics, questions, theories, or ideas. And I will put up a new post so you can put in your latest ones if you sent in some for this last one. So the first question we're going to be talking about is in regards to Supergirl. And so Stephanie918 says, is Melissa still going to be Supergirl and did Kyla leave? So I wanted to talk about this because I wasn't sure why the topic of Kyla was brought up in regards to Kyla leaving because Kyla is actually on set right now and she has been filming since Supergirl went back into production so nearly a month ago now and so I'm not sure where this came from maybe it was a presumption I guess but Kyla will not leave before the end of the season because she is in a contract until the end of season 6 I believe and you know she's gonna play out the last 20 episodes if you didn't know what they're planning to do for their filming schedule they're gonna take a long break over Christmas in order so that the actors come back in January and then they will quarantine for two weeks and then they will return to film sometime towards the end of January and that is why they are filming all the way into August because we kind of knew with their long filming dates like 10 months or something that they were going to have a break somewhere so you know I think it's totally doable and you know they won't be in Vancouver for 10 months straight so I don't see any reason why Kyla wouldn't be there so hopefully that answered your question and your other question is Melissa still going to be Supergirl well she's going to be Supergirl for the rest of the season however she will only return in January after her extended maternity leave and I think also adding on to that is Christmas and if Christmas wasn't there I think she probably would have returned sometime in December because there's no point in Melissa coming there quarantine for two weeks and filming for like one to two weeks and then going away for Christmas so it makes no sense and so that's why she's coming back sometime in January probably towards the end of the month like I mentioned considering that they need to quarantine when they do arrive so yeah Melissa's gonna be sticking around and obviously after Supergirl ends I don't think she's gonna be Supergirl for at least a couple of years maybe sometime down the line she'll kind of look back and be like oh maybe I can you know show up in the crossover I guess the only big thing is when existing stars come back to the shows they have to be paid the same amount they were when they were starring as the main lead on the show so I guess it's all down to the CW and if Melissa wants to come back I'm sure she can and I'm sure the CW would be willing to pay that so she does come back because she is a big character and that would build a lot of anticipation. Alright, so Gary asked a question, and so Gary asked this a lot, but I thought I would include it in one video. So Gary asks, is the Flash getting delayed later than February? So it's very unlikely it's going to get delayed any further because it was already delayed by over a month. It was set to come out in January and the reason it was delayed I've been told that Superman Lois because it got delayed actually starting its filming and its production they pushed that back and they really wanted Superman and Lois to come out at the same time as the Flash premieres obviously that is a good way to secure viewers because the Flash is the most watched show and then Superman and Lois will come on after and that will be the series premiere so it's the first time it's shown maybe they'll get a lot of eyeballs on it and people will be interested so it makes total sense and that's why it had to be delayed because I don't think Superman and Lois would have had enough episodes ready for the time of January or it would have at least been pushing it and I think they didn't want to risk it just in case there's any more shutdowns or anything in Vancouver where they're filming so it's all up in the air however it's pretty damn secure that it won't move further than February. Tyrone Flame on YouTube asks, Hey Ben, big fan. I know this isn't a question, but does Argo exist on Earth Prime? Because Kara said it in Crisis when she and Barry met in the Arrow Bunker. So I'm actually not sure if Argo still exists, but I kind of got the feeling after Crisis, and I haven't watched it a long time, so maybe I'll go back and I'm incorrect, and you know, that's my bad. But as far as I can remember, I think, you know, Argo definitely got destroyed at the start of Crisis, but then with everything turning out kind of for the best at the end, 
and Earth Prime being created, it saved some of those other multiversal Earths out there, and it actually created some new ones like where Stargirl was and Titans and everything kind of got introduced into the universe when all those other Earths were being destroyed or they got merged to Earth 1 to forming Earth Prime like in the comics. And so in regards to Argo, obviously that's not a version of Earth, that is a part of Krypton and I think in this version of reality there is a high chance that it probably stayed destroyed because it's not such a big thing. I don't think there is a desperate need in Supergirl's final season to go back to Argo. I mean, Superman and Lois did actually move to Argo for a brief period of time after Elseworlds, I think it was. So maybe they would bring back Argo for Superman and Lois because they did live there. However, it was destroyed in Crisis and I don't think we're sure if it survived or not. So it just really depends on the motivation behind either the Supergirl showrunners for its final season or Superman and Lois's showrunner if they want to bring back Argo and link it into that story that they formed in Elseworlds. So here is another question that's from RCRCA on YouTube who asks, and this is a big question, do you think since it's the final season of Supergirl and Mix is confirmed to be returning, we could possibly see a body swap between Kara and Lena, and maybe afterwards Lena gets to keep some of Kara's powers, they could use her character in other Arrowverse shows like Legends of Tomorrow, and the Arrowverse could still use a version of Supergirl. Though I'm not saying Lena could ever truly replace Kara as Supergirl, but it could be amazing and for Lena's arc in the series, either way I think it would just be one episode body swap between them, which would be hilarious. So I think this is interesting because it's a kind of crazy idea, I like these crazy ideas that some of you send in because yeah Mixie is confirmed for the final season and obviously Mixie can do a lot of stuff including probably body swap someone and you know that is a big thing in films and TV you know the idea of oh can a person go into another person obviously that has happened in the form of Barry and Oliver switching powers I guess that's kind of like a body swap kind of situation but would it happen to Carolina? I think is very unlikely I think it would be a cool story that's why I bring it up However, I think if it ever happened, it would be a one episode and done. Like you said, I don't think they would continue that, and I don't think, you know, they would ever replace Supergirl with another character being Supergirl, so they won't replace Kara, basically. And, you know, I think it would be cool if Lena did it with Kara, just for one episode, but keeping her powers, very unlikely if they ever did that, because I don't think they want to recast or you know, have someone take over the mantle of Supergirl, I really don't think they're ever going to do that in the show or, you know, later in the Arrowverse, I don't think they're ever going to show up with another version unless Melissa returns to play like Power Girl or just herself, basically. So yeah, that answers your question, I think it would be very fun and I would like to see that, I don't think it's very likely though. Okay, let's move on to Teresa's question and Teresa asks, why are they ending Supergirl with season 6? and not with Seven, as they said Seven will be her last, question mark. Just wondering why they said they will end with Season 7, then a month later it will end with Season 6. All due to Covid stuff, just wondering. So this is interesting, because I'm not sure where you got the Season 7 number from, because that was never ever confirmed, and if they would have confirmed it, that would have been, you know, private information, you know, talking behind the scenes between Melissa, the CW, Warner Brothers, and Belanti Productions. Maybe it was a rumor out there somewhere, and, I mean, if Melissa wanted to continue onwards, of course they would have had a season 7. But, officially, there was never going to be a season 7, because they never confirmed that, and they came to a decision altogether, that includes Melissa and all the powers that be, that they would end Supergirl with season 6. And it's not all due to Covid stuff, however, I think it is a factor in Melissa's decision, because I reckon she was kind of ready to give up at some point, and obviously, considering she just had a child, that plays a huge factor and her lifestyle will most definitely change, I think it changes for everyone. And the fact of having to film such long hours every single day for nearly 10 months, not being in the city you want to be because they shoot in Vancouver, Melissa lives in LA normally, or well she used to, and so I think just life circumstances plus the virus and it being, you know, dangerous to travel everywhere and also you have to quarantine. 
I think they kind of agreed that, you know, this season would be good and then we can move on and, you know, potentially one time in the future she'll come back as Supergirl and maybe come in one of the crossovers. Obviously, we don't know how long the Arrowverse is going to run for. It may go on for many more years. I would say it's at least got, you know, five plus years still in it. So, you know, it's going to be a while and she's got time to return. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later tonight, I will be in Pagey and Eric's stream. So you can go check that out on Eric's channel. Also, I should be live streaming sometime in the next few days on my own channel. So please be sure to check those out when those happen. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.